Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick uh, haul video. My last video was too long. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get this done quickly, under 10 minutes, so I don't completely ruin your lives. Uh, let's start off with my Hot Topic haul. Oh my gosh, Hot Topic so isn't goth. They all have to get over it because it has goth alternative clothing. Every time I go to Hot Topic, I make it a effort to get a button for my button jacket. So I've got my first My Chemical Romance button, pin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, my first pin. I never can find these pins, and I really don't feel like paying $5 for one pin online. So, uh, You are exactly what's wrong with society. I love this pin because it will describe any school I go to, basically. My Slytherin house pin. I even have a Slytherin wand. I've never read the books, but I love the movies and I love Snape. So, yep. A demon or a devil's trap, technically. Because, uh, you know, if I you ever have a tiny demon to trap, just use the button. And then I got this for my friend, also from Supernatural, like the de Devil's Trap. The Anti-Possession Sigil Sign, whatever, tattoo. So, yeah, got that for my friend for an, as an early graduation present, because we're both graduating this year. And where is it? So much shit. I got this dress which actually looked really nice on me. It's floor length, and I'm sure and usually floor length stuff does not look good on me whatsoever. But this one did. And I was, and I lost weight, so I didn't look fat in it either. Which is also good, because it's really soft. But it's got this cool design on the front here. With the ribs, it kind of looks like a butterfly since it's got that skull up there on the sternum. Then the uh, the skulls continue on, or not the skulls, the the skeleton continues on for the all nun radius and you know other such arm pieces on both sides. And on the back is you know the vertebrae, the lumbar region, you know such. But whatever. And it's got these cool bat skeleton wings on it, which pretty much made me like sold it on me other than the fact that it actually fit me it was on sale so I got it for like 20 something like 23 something and it was like the original price is like 35 so I call that a win I do uh, also while I was at the mall with my friend Sandra I got this shirt no this one and it's got these really cute fray things on the bottom that kind of remind me of Misty Day from American Horror Story Coven. I've learned not to put this in the washer because it will not and tear and stretch all those little pieces. And how it, it was a pain in the ass to get all of that out. So, yeah, there's that. So, no more cats. And let's see. Then we went to the next, not that night, Saturday night, we went to the thrift store. And I got this blouse, which is actually very pretty and soft. It's, the tag says polyester, but, you know, it feels like silk, or, uh, you know, a blend of silk. But it's a blouse, and I don't usually wear blouses. I usually wear hoodies, but I've been trying to get away from the hoodies since I'm not going to be in high school anymore. Gotta stop looking like a baby bat. So, yeah, I got me a blouse. I'll probably wear it in my Elven goth video I plan on doing in the future, but no promises because I've got a few ideas of shit I need to wear. Um, I also got this at the thrift store. Uh, it's a mesh sheer thing. Uh, it's like a trench coat, kind of goes down to my, what is it, knee, mid-thigh, mid-thigh knee, uh, don't really know what it is, but I liked it, so I bought it, for no other reason than that. I think it was probably one of those robes you would wear, like, a 
at a salon, but whatever. It's mine now. And I got this shirt, this button-up shirt. It buttons up past the neck. Trying to get you to see the detail. Uh, which I really enjoyed. Uh, right there. So, I look very Lolita or Victorian in this, depending on what bottoms I wear. But uh, I don't have any Lolita like bottoms, so I'm just gonna look like a weird freak Victorian. I need to get new buttons for this because when I put this in the wash, also, buttons fell off. They're cheap plastics, and I didn't check what kind of buttons they were. So yeah, I gotta get new buttons. And that's gonna be like, let's see, 5, 10, 14. 14 new buttons for this shirt. Should be fun. I'm doing my chocolate bunnies. And then I traded, well, it kind of was like an exchange, but got this hoodie from a guy, one of my associates at school. Because I really liked his hoodie when he first got it, which was like a year or two ago, I think. But he grew out of it, because guys never stop growing. And I just loved it. So, it doesn't fit him anymore. So he let me have it in exchange for this weird dragon plush uh, that... Mm, what, what was the game called? I can't remember what the game was called, but it's got a bunch of weird dragons, and one dragon's called like a tiger X or something. I don't know if that rings a bell for any of you, but it does it for me. Uh, so I'm gonna make a plush of a dragon from there, and yeah, I got the hoodie. I think it's a fair trade. Um, I also got this giant jawbreaker that is now half or less than half a giant jawbreaker because I've been licking it since Saturday. Well, not since Saturday. I, it started making my tongue bleed and then I started collecting my tongue blood for something else that I will do later that no one should care about. And it takes a long time to, like, make yourself bleed. Like, if you want the blood to be there, it takes forever and I don't like it. But whatever. Not gonna get into that. Quick story though, at the Dollar Tree we went to that night, I got this eyeliner, jumbo eyeliner pen, for me, because of my last, my first video, yeah, my first video, so, yeah, but uh, when we were in the line, this guy opens up the register and he's got this really square jaw and ginger hair, he looked adorable, like, I wouldn't date him, I'm tired of norms, but he was probably younger than me anyway. Uh, I was like, this guy's probably going to have like a really deep southern accent. Lo and behold, he had a very deep southern accent. I was right. I'm always right. So, um, I'm licking my giant ass jawbreaker lollipop. And he says, what? And I had no idea what he was talking about. Because I was off somewhere in distant view land. And I was like, wait, what? What happened? And he's like, I've never seen what before. And I was like, oh, he's saying white. It sounded like he was saying what, but he was saying white. So, me and my friend kind of had a kick out of that for the rest of the night. We weren't make, just to be clear, we weren't making fun of him. We were making fun of the fact that we thought he was saying something completely different than what we heard. Because... Southern accents are either really annoying or really adorable. That was kind of different sounding I wanted to make, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, and he was like, wow, did you take, wow, did you bite half that off? And I was like, and, you know, we were laughing and such, not really like girl giggling, but, you know, heh <laughs> heh, if that's a thing. And I was and, you know, he's like, nah, just kidding, you probably break your teeth. You wouldn't have any teeth left if you... Whatever. And we were laughing, and I was like, my friend just smashes them, and... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I wouldn't have the patience to just sit there and lick at that. That would take me forever. And I'd probably smash it, too. You know, funny times, funny times indeed. 
three minutes we were in line, so there is that. So that's uh, pretty much my haul video. Sorry if I was rushing in. I kind of have to stay under ten minutes, otherwise this thing will not load onto YouTube from my iPad because my iPad sucks tits. Saggy monkey tits. It's really bad. So I think I got everything. Yeah, pretty much. But I do not have a phone anymore, so that's why my music is playing from the radio over there if you, if it seems off with my background music, sorry. Uh, just My Chemical Romance playing. They're awesome. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, I guess. That's a, you know, thing. Uh, so, I hope to see you guys later. I will be making more videos. Hopefully I will get some of the planned videos done that I should be doing right now instead of goofing off and eating my bunny. See ya.